welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. If you are new here, my name is Joe. Make sure to hit that subscribe button before we get started. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on the upload. Give this video a big thumbs up. It helps more people see it. Also, comment down below. <laughs> so, for today's video, I'm going to give my bathroom like a little makeover type thing. Um, I have to finally make my curtain. I wanted to DIY a curtain, so today I'm finally forcing myself to do it. I want to um, make like a affirmation, inspirational type poster so I can put up on my wall and just get it all together. So I said before in my one of my other vlogs that I was going to do this, but that literally was a few vlogs ago and I've been pushing it off. But this is literally the curtain that I am going to paint over. Let me tell you guys when I got this curtain. Why did she say 825? August 25th. Okay, I literally am a procrastinator, but I have my curtain right here. I have my fabric paint paint, which I got from Hobby Lobby. I showed in my last one of my last vlogs. I got this plastic so I can put on the floor. And I also picked up paint brushes. This is a poster that I got from IKEA. I don't know. I probably got this this shit back in august too this is the poster that i'm gonna write on i got two of them this is how my bathroom i literally just been using what is this the liner i haven't put my shower curtain up because i knew i wanted to paint it but i've been procrastinating and i'm thinking of putting my inspirational thing right here and just switching a few things around just to make it look better okay so first i have to like because i'm going to be painting in this area so i have to move this out the way so that i have more space because since the pole is right here, it's like limiting my space for what I can use. So I'm going to use this right here. Alright, I got the plastic down. Now I put the curtain on top. Here's a reference photo. So... I need to mix paints together. I everything. It's always DIY to the fullest with me. So I'm gonna cut these water bottles in half and put the paint in here because I don't have anything and I don't want to waste like that many paper plates. But so this has a few colors. So I'm gonna just do like four or five colors and then just recycle them. So maybe five. Maybe I'll put one more color and then there. I'm gonna show you guys how I cut it though. Really, I have like a knife like this. And oh shit, I almost cut myself. So I'm gonna do five of them, do the same thing with the rest of them. wonky but I just needed to get the job done so and then I laid the blanket I mean the curtain on top I'm gonna put on socks so that I don't dirty this up and then I'll be back so these are the colors that I decided to go with they're similar to those colors I got this coral color yellow this pastel blue and then this one and then so I YouTubed it and I guess you're supposed to mix this um, textural medium with the paint like inside the container so that it can become fabric paint and not crack so that's what the next step is with all these. It says two to one. Um, I'm not sure what that means. I don't feel like measuring, so I'm just gonna go with this and then start putting the color in. I have to mix all the colors up. They look really pretty though, so. I'm gonna mix them up and then show you guys. So we have all the paints mixed up. I literally just took plastic, like forks, 
and mix it all together until like they blended. So this is what we're working with. I have five different um, paint brushes so that I don't mix the paint. So I have five different ones and then we're gonna see what we could come up with. Here on the floor, I'm gonna move my camera down so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. It's gonna be a little harder because like this isn't straight. Why that circle look kind of good though? This is a little harder because like this, it has all these ridges in it so it's not as smooth. So I know it's gonna take me a little longer to do what I'm trying to do. Here is how the boobs are looking. I know they're not the same size, but I really don't care. I'm, I don't, they're meant to be different size and everything. So I thought it was an easy job. It's literally like coming through the other side. So I'm like, hopefully when it dries, it'll dry on both sides. So I don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna just keep on going, continuing. I don't know, I'm like, I think I might just do three rolls. I don't know how many rolls that I thought I could possibly do, but I think I might just do three. So I'm gonna do like here, the middle, and then the end, and then maybe do like four going down. I don't know, I'll keep you guys updated. This is how we're looking so far. I don't know. I think it's too matchy over here. Should have did a different color. I don't know. Okay, so we have these two. I'm gonna do one more like about right here. So there's only three here. And then I'm gonna go do three here and then three here. So there's only gonna be nine total. Here's an update how it's looking. This one's my favorite so far. And then I have this one. This one I'm looking at, and then this one back here, which is really cute. And then I have two more to do. Okay, it is the next day because I was waiting for the shower current to dry. And by the time it got a little dry, I didn't feel like doing anything. So now today we're working on this these boards are gonna be like affirmation boards that i'm gonna put like in my bathroom so that you know when i wake up in the morning like that's the first thing i see when i go in there just to remind me like different reminders different affirmations so that i see positive things early in the morning so we're gonna start with this i have two of them and then also for my key i did pick up this white marker this is like thin as a piece of paper but it's so cute it looks like a chalkboard so this one i'm gonna put it down comes with like um sticky things for you to stick on your wall like two separate ones but i put them together for like a big one so i got this idea from arnell so she has like this and put like different affirmations and i thought it was a good idea so that's why i'm gonna do it and then down at the bottom i'll put different affirmations that I absolutely love. Yeah, look, don't mind my handwriting. I don't like how it's coming out, so. So, 
The questions I'm going to put for myself are how can I show up for myself today and what do I need from me? So those are the two questions I'm going to put for myself. First question is what am I grateful for? Start my day off with some gratitude. This is how it's looking. Good morning, Joe. I want to say good morning to baddest bitch to ever live, but it wasn't enough room. My first question is what is one thing you're grateful for? Start off my day with ingratitude. Um, second question, how can I show up for myself today? And then third question, what do I need from me? So those are my questions. And then down on this board, I'm going to write affirmations so that when I look at it, I can say all my affirmations. How about I'll put it for you and you tell me if no, you No, I can't tell. It looks crooked. This side looks a little bit more down. Does it look good? A <laughs> I don't know. No, I think it looks good. I think it looks good. You can hurry up and pull it off. Just do the two real quick so you can come back and see. I feel like the bottom one's off. Can you pass me the other one in the room so I have to get through? I mean, you wait it. Oh, there you go. Is it there? I think so. That's how you get shit done. I'll show you guys the final result of like my little bathroom makeover. Just these two things make a huge difference in the bathroom. So it's cool. Are you ready? <laughs> this is a shower curtain. Hold on, you can't see it. This is a shower curtain. This is how it looks. I think it looks actually cute it adds like a nice pop of color into it comment below let me know what you think and then i added this here which it kind of seems a little dark compared to like that but i still like it i think it came out really good let me know what you think down below and i also think this is a good reminder for anybody to do just to remind yourself and you know in the bathroom when you wake up the bathroom the first place you go so this is a great big reminder in your face and it also has sticky notes that were different colors, so I changed them black. And these just say other affirmations on them. Like, I deserve to feel good today. And then I have my little body vase with some flowers in there. Like, this literally looks like a whole different bathroom. I'm obsessed with it. I'm so glad that I finally got this done. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.